Hello friends, welcome back. Guess what? It is day 30 of the market season vlog. I have officially vlogged for 30 days and I'm looking forward to making it through tomorrow for day 31. But don't worry, I'm going to extend this vlog because I know you guys are dying to see the market set up and to see how everything goes. And I know several of you are looking forward to a recap. I will not leave you hanging, not this year anyway. So today's video is a long one. We are going to go ahead and jump right in. But I do want to say that if you guys have any questions, I am really open to doing a Q&A on markets. I think I wouldn't call myself an expert at this time, but I've been through a lot of markets. I've learned so much. I have failed so much, but I've also grown so much. So any insight that you guys are looking for if i can help if i can answer your questions go ahead and start leaving them in the comments i will go ahead and compile a list and at the end of the second market i will see if there are enough questions for me to do a q and a on all things market or craft show related let's go ahead and jump into today's video as i mentioned it's a long one this morning, I am taking time to go through and pull all the displays that I want to use. Now, these are usually stored in the garage, and then these two I use in my overflow pantry in the house. But they are for market, so when I don't need them for market, I do, I do borrow them, but they are available for that purpose. Now, I wish I had addressed this way sooner, but like I said, guys, you're not going to get everything right every time. I would have liked these to probably be white, uh, but there's no time to do that now. But that's something that I can address when I do my SWOT analysis uh, after the market. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and there's one more at the shop that I would like to grab. And if I do get that, now I have six displays that I can use. My goal is to get rid of the tables. I, I really don't like things lying flat on the table. And I think it just doesn't give a very experienced look. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, if that's what you do. But after five years of doing markets, I don't want to use the tables anymore if I can avoid them. I've also pulled out Preston's cooler from when he was playing soccer. So I hope he won't mind. But I'm going to use this to fill it up with water and ice. And then I'm going to borrow my husband's lunch bag. Uh, it's insulated, and this is where I'm going to put my... Uh, that's where I'm going to put my food and snacks for the market. I came over to my booth and I'm going to take some things out uh, to add to my inventory. For some reason, I still feel like I need more. So I'm going to take these teacup candles and see if this would be a great opportunity to sell them at market. They haven't sold really well in the booth. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these. I've got a tote here and I'm going to fill it up. I was able to get a whole bunch more stuff. I got some mirrors and these pegboards that I had made. They never did sell. I think they need more. So I'm gonna do some transfers on them. I've got some candle stands, some greenery. And of course, I've got the teacup candles right here. Just, you know, so that I can beef up on the inventory. And also, after the market, I'm going to be doing a reset in the booth. So I need to move some things out anyway. So this is a perfect opportunity. Now I'm going to go to my other booth and get some lamps. Uh, I just left my other booth at the barn door. I grabbed some crystal lamps, some brass lamps, and a few signs that I think would be a perfect fit with the rest of the signs that I made. So I do have those in the car. And then I went to uh, Roots and Relics. I got the candles, as I mentioned. I am going to lunch. I am so hungry. We're going to Chick-fil-A. I just hit the sweet spot at Chick-fil-A. I think this is the perfect time to come. When I pulled up, there were no cars in line and normally we have to wait a long time when we get to the Chick-fil-A line. But I pulled up and I was right up. So I'm having lunch in the car today. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid the sun so you can see me. Boss baby just fell asleep in the back seat. And so instead of going home and unloading her, which wakes her up, I said, okay, let me go get some lunch. I'm gonna eat it in the car while she's sleeping and by the time I'm done it should be time to go get Big Brother. While I was editing last night's video the wall got dropped off as I mentioned it's very rustic more than I would like uh, we used what we had on hand so we used some upcycled uh, fence board 
I want to see if I can not see actually it needs to be painted I want it painted uh, that's going to be the goal for today to get this painted and handle some last minute tasks I'm going to fix the wall what I'm gonna do is take these planks that I had from Preston's room when I did his makeover and I'm gonna attach them up here so that I can cover up that Like a sunrise horizon Always there, always shining Building me up with the song it's singing Filling my heart like I'm flying And always warm, always hold me The biggest part of my story Healing my soul, help me feel complete Bringing my heart to my glory yeah. It keeps pulling me back keeps pulling me back to you it keeps pulling me back it keeps pulling me back to you it keeps pulling me back yeah it keeps pulling me back to you it keeps pulling me back it keeps pulling me back to you yeah While the wall is drying, I want to take a moment and show you everything that I have in my toolkit for market. First, you need your drill, and I leave the drill bit attached. Then I have some L brackets, and these always come in handy for one thing or another. I then have carpet tape because I always use rugs, and it's good to have them down so your rugs don't slide and you don't pose a safety risk. Next, you need your zip ties. The more, the merrier with these things. I have them in two different sizes. I have a small size and I have the large size. After that, you also want to make sure that you have your equipment. So I use grids and these are my 8-inch grid hangers. And I also have the 4-inch grid hangers as well for smaller items. Next, I have a lighter. I don't know why, sometimes I have candles, so it's good to have one on hand. After that, you want to make sure you've got all of your lighting. Normally, I use this battery-powered lights, but this year, I am paying for electricity. So I'm just going to plug my trees in, but I'm going to take those with me just in case. I also have a pair of gloves in case I'm doing some heavy lifting so I don't damage my hands. And sometimes it's really cold in November, so it's good to keep my hands nice and warm. I always have lots of batteries for one thing or another. You never know. And then I have my S-hooks, and these are to hang things on my grids as well. I also have my handy-dandy stepper gun, so you can use this for anything. Sometimes you have to do repairs. I also have these hooks. When you have tents, these are great. If a tent leg breaks, you can use them to hold your tent legs down. And then I have, of course, some jute twine. If I need to tie something, make hangers or tie down price tags. And don't forget your tape. You never know. I've never used it, but just in case. 
A little more on personal care, I take some deodorant because all that moving around, sometimes you get sweaty. I take lotion for my hands because they do get ashy sometimes. And then I also have chapstick because sometimes it's cold, my lips get dry. And then I always have my exacto knives. You never know, guys. Sometimes you just need to cut things, so it's good to have them. Don't forget your scissors. I usually have two pairs on hand. I also take my wire cutters. This, I always end up knitting, so I never forget those. And then don't forget to have a Sharpie in case you want to write on stuff for your customers, especially if you're holding things. And then, of course, take your branding materials. I'm taking these postcards. They'll go in each package. And I also have my business cards to go with them as well. Listen, I just want to pause this video and let you guys know that I have the best followers ever. I don't care what the algorithm says. You guys are absolutely amazing. I am seeing the same names over and over in the comments, which is letting me know that you guys are coming back and you are watching, taking the time to comment, and I really appreciate that. And the cool thing is that so many of you guys are so invested and so engaged. Let me tell you what happened today. So I went to the shop, and I went to steal inventory from my own booth, you know. And when, when I got back to the car, I saw a notification from YouTube. And when I read the comment, it was a reminder that I need more bags and they're in the attic. So if you watched yesterday's video, I mentioned that I needed to go up in the attic and I don't like doing it. So I tried to compile the attic trips all in one as much as possible. And several videos ago, I mentioned that I need more bags and those bags were in the attic. So the comment was a reminder to grab more bags while I'm up there since I stayed, I needed them. I mean, how cool is that? I love it, I love it, I love it. I love you guys for being here and hanging out with me for all of this time. Now, let's get back to the video. The stars are finished. I had to go ahead and refluff the rest of them. Uh, this one needed a new ribbon. And then now they're all tagged. So next I'm gonna move on to pricing the teacups. There's a whole crate of them. There's about 40 of them. I've already printed out my price tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tie them onto the handle with a bow. And then I'm gonna move on to another project. These are the items that I took from the shop. For the sake of time, I'm gonna leave the shop tags that are on there. And then um, there's two bulletin boards, that one and that one. I want to put some transfers on them. And then these would be good and ready. I'm going to keep things easy. I was going to try and change out all the tags and put holiday tags. But, yeah, that's not working smart since they are already tagged. And if they do not sell, then they will be going back to the shop anyway. So I'm going to leave them as they are and just ready to put away. I'm exhausted. It is time to finish and wrap this up. I wanna to go to bed on time today because I have an early class at 8 a.m. Here are the bulletin boards all finished. I should have done this way sooner, but you know, that's the thing. Ideas on always come timely. Uh, I think these would definitely sell now. And actually I look forward to making more of these because I have more pegboards in the attic. I really, really like this idea. I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to let this be the last project I do for this market. Uh, as of now, I am shutting down workshop. I know I said that yesterday, but I really wanted to go and get some things from the shops. And I think these were nice additions. I also grabbed some glass lamps from Barn Door. This and some brass lamps as well. I'm about to clean them up, find some bulbs, and I want to take these as well to add some lighting to the booth. And then uh, that's it. That wraps up today's video. I lied. I've got some candelabras here as well. They're already priced from the shop, and I'm going to leave them as they are. And this whole corner here, this is all ready inventory to go. I'm going to fill that crate. And then we'll be done and then I need to sit down and edit this video and get it out before midnight. There's the wall. It's already drying really nice. And then that red bag right there is the bag that has my cash wrap, sorry, my cash box, my tablet, my chargers, my square reader and power banks. Uh, all that stuff, I'm leaving it close to the garage, so when daddy comes in the morning, we pull the garage door up, it goes onto the truck. 
Okay, so I have just shut down workshop at least until Sunday. Um, I'm not doing anything else, like nothing at all. Hmm, nothing. Well, it's official. I have done my best. Now I'm leaving the rest up to God and that uh, everything is going to go well. I'm trusting the process because I know that I have given it my all. I've really enjoyed um, the accountability that has come with this process. And you guys have been so encouraging and so energizing. And I have decided I'm making this official. Every year in October, we will do a market season vlog. So thank you again for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day 31. And guess what? Tomorrow is set up day so the prayer is that i'll be able to show you the whole process and show you the booth after it's all done before it's all shopped and picked over if you are enjoying these videos if you find any value in them or some form of inspiration please subscribe to this channel help me to grow my community and also share this content with other creators help them to find the channel as well Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day 31 of the Market Season Vlog 2024. Good night.